This is the future. This is the future. Hey guys, so this is just to show you some of the, the beauty of South Africa. Um, the king of all dinosaurs, T-Rex, standing right here with me. And uh, yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. They, they moved the place around a lot. It didn't used to look like this. But mind you, I haven't been here in almost 10, 11 years. Well, hello guys and welcome to Crypt Zone. And uh, well, as you saw in the beginning of this video, it started off with the dinosaur park. So the day started off great, had this wonderful idea of taking the kids to the dino park close to Nelspain. And the trip went well, we went through the whole park itself, everything was going great, until we came back home. And that's when uh, the shit hit the fan. Check it out. But first, a small advert. Hi guys, Cryptzone here. Do you suffer from pain? Do you suffer from inflammation? Do you suffer from sleeplessness or stress? I use essential oils almost daily. Medication does work. Pain medication and anti-inflammatories does help me. But in the long run, medication is not good for you. Essential oils is 100% pure and it is 100% all natural. This product really works for me. They also sell a variety of different oils for a variety of different conditions, as well as bath salts. The benefits of these bath salts can be seen above. If you want some relief in your life, I will leave a link in the description down the video below. Go check it out. Don't delay, contact Essential Oils, use the code CRYPT1 and get your bath salts or essential oils today. Come on guys and join me on this wonderful tour of the Sudwala Dinosaur Park. If you are stuck because of COVID and you can't get out, you wish you were somewhere else, then come and join me on this walk through the park. The park was opened in 1977. It is situated about 30 k's from Nelspreet and this is called the Sudwala Dinosaur Park. Here you can see your own ancestors as this shows the evolution of man from caveman up to the modern man. But I think it just looks very creepy to me. And on this side of the wall we have tools, weapons, spear points, axes, whatever they made in those ages to be able to survive and hunt. But that's enough for me, let's check the rest. Behold the first reptile from Texas. According to everything that I've read, they say the dinosaurs here are actually life-size. So this gives you an idea of how big these giants really were.
There's also this very beautiful viewpoint that you can look out over the valley. And this is almost what all the places in uh, the low felt looks like. Absolutely breathtaking. Here we have one of the oldest living dinosaurs that's still alive today. Looks like a big boy. Although that other one we saw just a bit earlier is much bigger and longer than this guy. It's a shame I didn't see any velociraptors. I would have actually liked to see what the size of a raptor could have been. Or should have been. Or would have been. I am a little bit disappointed in this T-Rex. I think the movies makes him look better. This one looks like an overgrown lizard. Uh, the head doesn't really look like he should be looking like in the movies. Or maybe the movies just spoiled it for me. Two more live crocs. Can you believe that this is an ancestor of an elephant? Don't believe me? Look at the board. A cape lion and a cape zebra. I don't know what makes them dinosaurish, but they still look the same as they do today. Sorry about these statues guys, it's a bit graphic but hey, they were there when I was in grade 7. The car's fan belt decided to climb off, or break, I'm not sure at this point what it is. But this is how the adventure starts, hey, now we're gonna go... to go all the way back to Nalspreit. Of course, I have to find a place to sleep now tonight with me and the four families here. No clothes, no nothing, and then tomorrow after. Um, I had to wait almost an hour and a half in the queue just to get into the place. What else did you think went wrong? Stick around for part two and join me and see what the hell happened to me. If you like this video, then hit the subscribe button to join the Cripsonian family. Also, hit the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my further uploads. Give me a thumbs up, it will really help out this channel. You can also go and visit my website at www.cripsonian.co.za where you will find hyperlinks on all the pages except for the main page. The main page will show you exactly what the channel is about. Then if you're interested to see what's happening on the podcast page, you can go to podcast on the Cripsonian live page. You should find out the time slots of my next live stream and what we have planned for the evening. And then on the Cribzone YouTube channel page, you can go and um, subscribe directly to the channel, see what videos have already been posted and see what new projects I'm working on. Also, you can go to contact and you can email me if you have any questions. So thanks very much for your support, guys. Until next time, cheers.